you must do while waiting for financial breakthrough. In the journey of faith, there will inevitably be seasons of waiting. Whether it's waiting for healing, a new opportunity, or in this case, a financial breakthrough, the waiting period can test every fiber of our being. Financial difficulties, especially, can place a burden not only on our wallets, but on our hearts, spirits, and relationships. It is during this time that the words of the Bible become a lifeline, and the actions you take during this period are crucial. As believers, waiting on God is not a passive act. It is an active, faith-filled season. 1 John chapter 1, verse 26 says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. The Holy Spirit is with us, even in the wilderness of financial struggles, guiding us through the steps we need to take. If you are currently in a season of financial hardship and waiting for a breakthrough, here are five key things you must do while you wait in order to align with God's will and prepare for His provision. Number one, hold on to faith. The first and most important action during a time of financial waiting is to hold firmly onto your faith. Faith is not merely a belief in the existence of God. It is an unwavering trust in His promises and His timing. When you are in a financially tight situation, it's easy to be consumed by fear, worry, and doubt. But the Bible calls us to live by faith, not by sight. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 defines faith as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Even when you don't see the breakthrough yet, your faith is the assurance that God is already working on your behalf. Faith is a muscle that is strengthened through adversity. Consider the story of Abraham who is often referred to as the father of faith. He waited for years, even decades, for the promises of God to manifest in his life. He was promised descendants as numerous as the stars, but he spent a large portion of his life without even one child. Yet, Romans chapter 4 verse 20 says, He did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. Just like Abraham, we must stand firm. Even when circumstances seem bleak, God is faithful and he honors those who trust in him. Faith isn't passive. It requires active engagement. In your financial struggles, you can activate your faith through prayer, declarations, and meditating on the word of God speak life over your situation declare god's promises daily isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says but those who wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint even when you feel weary know that god is with you strengthening your faith in this season number two diligence and hard work while faith is the foundation, diligence and hard work are essential companions in the waiting season. Waiting for a financial breakthrough does not mean sitting idle, expecting money to fall from the sky. God blesses the work of our hands, and He calls us to be diligent in all we do. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 reminds us, Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. Even in the most challenging seasons, there is always work to be done. The Bible is filled with verses that emphasize the importance of hard work. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 11 says, Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies have no sense. It's important to work with what you have, no matter how little it may seem. Sometimes the breakthrough you're waiting for is tied to your faithfulness in what God has already given you. And look at the story of the widow in 2 Kings chapter 4. She was in desperate need and her situation seemed hopeless. But when she sought help from the prophet Elisha, he didn't give her money. Instead, he asked her, what do you have in your house? She replied that all she had was a little oil. Elisha instructed her to borrow jars from her neighbors and pour the oil into them. Through her obedience and hard work, God multiplied the oil, and she was able to pay off her debts and live on what was left. This story teaches us that God often uses what we already have to bring about the breakthrough. 
It's up to us to be diligent and faithful in stewarding it. Dear friend, in your waiting season, be diligent in the work God has placed before you, whether it's your job, business, or even volunteering. Excellence in small tasks prepares you for larger blessings. Luke chapter 16 verse 10 justifies this truth. It says, Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. God is watching how you handle what you have now, and your diligence will be rewarded in due time. Number three, seek God's direction through prayer. During the waiting season for financial blessings, one of the most crucial steps you can take is seeking God's direction through prayer. Prayer is not just a means of asking for help. It is a dialogue with God where you receive His guidance, wisdom, and direction. In times of financial difficulty, it's easy to become anxious, trying to figure out how to fix things on your own. But Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 urges us, saying, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I want you to know this. Prayer is a place of surrender. It's where you lay down your plans and allow God to direct your steps. First, John chapter 1, verse 26 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. When we seek God's wisdom, He reveals His plans and purposes, even in our financial difficulties. Sometimes the breakthrough you're waiting for is connected to a direction or idea God wants to give you in prayer. He may lead you to start a new business, apply for a different job, or even partner with someone you hadn't considered before. Prayer also builds your trust in God. As you spend time in His presence, you see your situation from His perspective. Your faith is strengthened and your heart is reassured that God is in control. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 12 and 13 says, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. God promises to hear you when you pray. He is never distant and he will provide the wisdom you need for your breakthrough. Have this truth in mind. After every moment of prayer, wait for an instruction from God. Don't be quick to leave. Wait. Number four, practice gratitude. In seasons of financial hardship, gratitude might seem like the last thing on your mind. However, practicing gratitude is one of the most powerful actions you can take while waiting for a breakthrough. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you already have, and it opens the door for God to move in your life. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. When you cultivate a heart of gratitude, you are aligning yourself with God's will. Even in times of lack, there is always something to be thankful for. It could be the roof over your head, the breath in your lungs, or the strength to keep going each day. Gratitude changes your perspective and reminds you that God is still good, even when times are tough. Psalm chapter 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Gratitude also invites God to bless you even more. When Jesus fed the 5,000 in John chapter 6, he gave thanks for the small amount of food they had before it was multiplied. Gratitude is an act of faith showing God that you trust Him to provide more than enough. Gratitude brings about multiplication. It happened in the Bible, and it can still manifest in your life. While you wait, be thankful. Instead of complaining or focusing on what's missing, practice thanking God for what He has already done in your life. As you do, you will find that your heart is filled with peace and your faith is strengthened. Number five, tithe and be generous. In times of financial struggle, the idea of giving may seem counterintuitive. After all, how can you give when you barely have enough for yourself? But the Bible teaches us that generosity, even in times of lack, is a key to unlocking God's blessings. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. 
Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Tithing is an act of trust. It shows God that you believe He is your provider and you trust Him to take care of your needs. It's easy to tithe when you have abundance, but tithing in times of need is a demonstration of faith. God sees your heart and He honors the sacrifices you make. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 6 and 7 reminds us saying, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Generosity is not about the amount, it's about the attitude of your heart. When you give, even out of your scarcity, it shows God that you trust Him to meet your needs. Look at the story of the widow's offering in Mark chapter 12, verses 41 through 44. Jesus watched as rich people put in large sums of money into the offering, but it was a poor widow who caught his attention. She put in two small coins, all she had to live on, and Jesus said that she had given more than anyone else. Her act of generosity, even in her poverty, was honored by God. Dear friend, generosity also opens the door for God to use others to bless you. As you give to others, God will ensure that your own needs are met. Luke chapter 6 verse 38 says, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. When you sow into the kingdom, God multiplies your seed and ensures that you have more than enough. Being generous doesn't only refer to finances. You can also give your time, talents and resources. Look for opportunities to serve others, even when you are in need yourself. God often uses the generosity of our hearts as a means to release blessings into our lives. As you give, you will begin to see that God's economy is different from the world's economy. In God's kingdom, giving leads to abundance. It may sound ridiculous, but giving is the sure way to have your barns filled with plenty. As we wrap up this message, know this. While waiting for a financial breakthrough, your faith, diligence, Prayer, gratitude, and generosity are essential tools. God is not indifferent to your struggles, and He is working behind the scenes to bring about your breakthrough in His perfect timing. Remember that the waiting season is not a wasted season. It's a time of preparation, growth, and deepening your trust in God. First, Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. God's timing is perfect, and His provision is never late. While it may seem like nothing is happening, trust that God is orchestrating events in your favor. Like the Israelites waiting to enter the Promised Land, or David waiting to become king, your season of waiting will end in victory if you remain faithful. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 encourages us, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. In your season of financial waiting, remember that God is your provider. He is Jehovah Jireh, the God who sees your needs and provides. Continue to trust Him, work diligently, pray fervently, remain grateful, and be generous. In due time, the breakthrough you've been praying for will come, and it will be far greater than you ever imagined. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 promises, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Hold on to your faith, for God is faithful. Your financial breakthrough is on the way. While in your waiting period, I'd like you to join me as we say this prayer to God. Heavenly Father, we come together in faith, trusting in your perfect timing as we wait for our financial breakthroughs. We ask for your peace to fill our hearts and remind us that you are always at work in our lives, even when we cannot see it. Grant us the wisdom to navigate this season of waiting, teaching us patience and perseverance. May we support one another as a community, lifting each other up in hope and encouragement. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. 
We believe that breakthroughs are on the horizon and we trust in your promises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom.